Hello everyone, welcome to the greatest set of the entire Jam League 5. It's the Bananarama! For those of you who don't know, the Bananarama is a set between Banana, the Cloud player, Logan, and Ice Banana, the Icy's player. Gonna be on the Spicies. I am very hyped for this. This is gonna be better than top 12, it's gonna be better than bottom 8, it's gonna be better than everything. Let's fucking go. Oh yeah, also, these two have a history of playing off online sets together back in the jam lockdowns. But they have never actually played a set offline together, so this should be interesting. Also, Lauren, say hi, I haven't let you say a word yet. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I haven't done any comms for the, for this JML yet, but... Speaking of people who haven't done things offline, Lauren has only commed once in the JM lockdowns, to my knowledge. And it was also the Banana Rama last time. <laughs> the Banana Rama! Let's go. Let's get this started. I'm so hyped. Let's go. So, the seed difference of these guys is actually pretty big, but Cloud is known to be able to deal with the ICs. So it's really just a matter of how well Banana adapts to the matchup, because as we know, the Ice's matchup is infamously unknown. And I'm interested in seeing how the, how the Ice Climbers end up with, now that it's offline, set up without the lag from being online. Well, Tom's Ice is actually going to massive buff offline, because he can't do a lot of his combos offline just because of, like, input delay. So he gets access to a lot of his desync stuff, and as you can see, he's already got 72% on Banana. I do rate the pick of Town and City though, because ICs definitely can get really in your face, especially on a small stage. But Banana hanging on to his stock there. Yeah, a smash gonna take it. I was almost a zero to death. Tom's kind of not really letting Logan do anything at the moment. Yeah, the thing with... Oh yeah, just for clarification, Banana's Logan, Ice Banana's Tom, for our viewers. So, the thing here is that Logan could probably benefit from maybe hanging back and trying to kind of suss out what Tom is going to do, because Ices is very good at punishing hasty approaches. Oh. Yeah, get, getting Nana Nana. there. Getting Nana there is not going to necessarily get him anywhere, because as we know, Tom's Sopo is even stronger than his Ice Climbers. He does upgrade as soon as it's only Sopo there. Yeah, one fatal error against Tom is also just assuming he's out the second you get, and that's another death. Cloud doesn't have the recovery for that. That's unfortunate. And I'm a little bit annoyed because we weren't allowed to legalize the banana gun for this set, which is disappointing. But hey, it they, is still an official Jam League set. They did talk about possibly doing um, one of the DK maps, it's like a gentleman, so I'm not that sure if that's actually happening. That would be incredible. And we got Logan in a precarious position. Tom with the Sopo, Rage Sopo. Deceptively dangerous. Hopefully you can get a stock off before the end so he's not three-stocked. I believe in Logan. I mean, in theory, Cloud has all the tools to get past a Sopo because once you're at Sopo, you've lost all of the Icy's like, big advantages and you're just kind of a small DDD at that point. Your hammer. But as we can see, Tom is not giving an inch here. Almost. Town Blast Zone's actually going to work against Logan in this case. I can really feel Logan's desperate to get a stock here. Tom just will not die right now. <laughs> yeah, man. It's super. There's the stock. There we go. But now we're back to ICs, and it's just... I don't know. I feel like it can be a bit demoralizing that you get to Sopo, you take a stock, and then you have two whole stocks of ICs left to get through. Ooh, yep. Liz will do that. That's a kill setup. Ooh, nice up the outer shield to get out of that. I think he was trying to go for the blender just then. <laughs> yeah. 
separated ICs. Oh, as we've heard from some Connor's comms, the best thing you can do is separate the ICs and then kill the support. So, Banana doing really well on this last stock, actually. And up air gonna take it, yeah. Doesn't quite get it. You can never underestimate the ICs like that. He did last a while, though, at the end. Yeah, it was good. He can definitely benefit from more patience because... Tom's playstyle is very much one that punishes people who don't know the matchup and people who are a bit too hasty in their assault. So yeah, have any thoughts on what you what stage you reckon they're gonna go to now? Um, I don't think I'm not sure they would go to the DK one, even though I really want them to. I well, they'd have to be going to Battlefield or FD for that. I'm yeah. not sure that Logan necessarily wants to do that. Small Battlefield, yeah. Tom does pretty well in small Battlefield though. These kind of seem like Tom picks for the stages. Which is interesting because I feel like both were Logan picks. I don't know who won the Rock Papers at the start though. Anyway, going Same into match picks. two. But not Rama! Got the Calm Mario theme for music. And kind of waiting them each other out. Ooh, nice one. And you see that, that there's just the danger of ICs is you hit one away and the other one will just hit you. Here's a fun fact for you, Lauren. Did you know that there's actually a bubble around the main ice climber? And the supporting ice climber actually copies the inputs of the main ice climber when they're in that bubble, but when they're outside of that bubble, they change into an AI. Yeah, I think Tom did explain that to me at one yeah. point. <laughs> and Tom has a pretty good knowledge of that, which is how he manages to use the climbers so well and how he manages to escape those separation scenarios, which can really screw him over, but pretty even so far. I would hesitate to say that Banana has the advantage because as we know, Tom's Sopo is a force to be reckoned with. So. Unknown to Logan, he has just taken off the ankle weights from Tom and he will yes. be busting out some moves now. <laughs> But that's going to be the stock. Logan with the lead. Doing really well this match. Like, as I said, Cloud has a big sword, and big sword is one of the main things I see struggle with. Oh. One thing to be wary of is that if Logan actually manages to take a game or two off, then Tom might actually switch to Pichu. Because he's recently picked up the Pichu as a counter to exactly this sword characters who can just out disjoint Icy's. Tom just keeps getting caught by those uppies. Seems to be letting go of shield too early. Up air. You're not ready for it. He just throws them out, they just kill you. But I'm loving this adaptation on Logan's part. He's playing a lot more patiently. He's waiting for Tom's options. Yeah, he's not charging in like he was last game. And he's kind of figuring and he's kind of figured out exactly what he can and can't do to a degree. Oh, that's a oh, shield break. shield break. <laughs> the question is, can Tom kill off this? The answer nope. is no. Yeah, way too low percent. Yeah, air dodge there to stay. Might not have been the best idea, but I can see the idea it was definitely conserving that limit. Ooh, catching on ledge. Caught lack in there. It should be going to interrupt any sort of edge guard. Ooh, what was that up -y? Unfortunately, whiffing the punish, but gonna take second stock. Pretty even game so far, but Logan is doing a lot better than last time. Jump to platform, gonna get called out there. Yeah, can't just you can't just go on Cloud Shield like that. Cause it'll just up to you. Take like twenty percent. Ooh, caught the main one there. Good job. Oh, blends him up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but 56% yeah. is huge against Tom. Yeah, a bit higher percent, and that's going to start freezing, but Tom is suddenly in a precarious percent. Because Cloud, man has a... Ooh, that's... Ooh. Very smart of Tom to keep going to ledge there. He's managed to avoid two punishes there from Logan. 
I was scared there for a second because Tom gets that grab. He can just carry you off stage and spike you with the decent combo. Suddenly thing is closer to even, but... Logan just waiting out Tom, trying to ledge strap him. Ooh! Cross slice right into up smash. Beautiful stuff by Logan. And the score is at 1-1. One, one. What'd you think of that? I think that that um, Logan was doing much, much better on that one. I think he kind of learned how to deal with it. Banana underseated? <laughs> I mean, he did just take a game off the fifth seed, so that's pretty good. Who knows? Staying on the ice climbers there. Tom thinks he can handle it. Who knows? Maybe Tom will just learn right back on how to, how to stop him from, from out outsmarting him. I mean, Tom can definitely do that. Because Icy's by nature is like quite a slow character. So he really has to like think about his actions carefully. But that last stock, that last game was beautiful. Anyway, into the new game, PS2 counter pick. It's an interesting one. I think the the motivation here is to give Tom more room to move. Because in terms of like drop down blizz wall from a platform, uh Small Battlefield is definitely better. But yeah, it would seem Tom doesn't want to be in such a confined space with a, someone with a massive sword like Cloud. Close wall. I'm going to jump around it. Yeah, I like this like pseudo zoner gameplay by Logan. Where he's kind of waiting for Tom to try and do his shit and then countering. Oh, and he grabs Great first cross stock. slash catch. Nope, that's not first stock yet. Nah, he only killed Mana. And now the Sopo is unleashed. <laughs> Tom is hanging on to the stock for dear life here. Logan knows. He's figured out the matchup. That's an. Yeah, down smash. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to reach, but damn. The timing was looked like it was just right. It was, it was oh, like I wasn't talking earlier. about the timing. I thought the spacing was off, but Tom knows his character better than I do. <laughs> so far, Banana Rama not failing to disappoint. One thing to note for the viewers as well is that Logan actually was... Not doing too hot back in the jam lockdowns in this matchup, so it's good to see him adapting really well here. Seventy five percent, just spamming blade beam. It works. Great down air. Although that down air is risky because Tom is definitely the kind of player. Ooh, almost shield breaking there. Tom is definitely the kind of player to go for a follow up in the air like that. Is that just dead? No, he escapes. 134, really precarious. Any one of those hammer hits could just kill him. I'm looking for an opportunity to get in. Logan looking for an opportunity to charge the limit. It's getting in a lot of small damage at the Ooh. moment. Great up B. Logan's getting a lot of mileage off the up B. Ooh, and the oh. follow up cross slash, I mean, follow up he limit blade beam. completely ignores Nana. <laughs> I mean, that's the play, right, yeah, though. It's the he, play. He, good recognition there that he got the main one off. He, and he almost he got just... hit, too, it looked like. Yeah. I mean, the Nana hit, unless it killed, would have probably. It would probably have still been worth it because he was struggling the stock and, like. Honestly, if it's not going to kill you first, you don't really have any reason not to kill go for a kill opportunity in that sort of situation. Now Tom on a serious back foot, 82%. Logan with the momentum. Crowd chanting Cloud 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 and that's gonna take it. Ben just ignored Nana and took out Popo twice there. Beautiful follow up there, just calling out Tom. And all of a sudden, Logan has the advantage. But not Rama, man. Let's go. Town and City. That's going to be Tom's counter pick. 
Makes sense though, he did well on that stage before. Although, the one thing to note is that Town and City has really high blast zones and Tom's kills tend to be upward. I mean, he got, sometimes goes for like side kills, but one kill he really likes to do is up smashes and up airs. Like up tilt into up air decent combos. That so, is my special, please. It's interesting. But I think that he definitely, like, it's a good solid move to go back to a stage where you're winning, but when your opponents figured out the matchup, it doesn't necessarily mean it'll give you the advantage, but. He's but he's doing well so far. Logan's struggling to just get back to stage with all those platforms. I was going for back. a lot of upwards attacks. Yeah, he likes to, is what I'm saying, but... Yeah, with the... With the Ooh, catching that bad air dodge there. On this on this map, like you said. Well, there's that side kill. Just the down tilt there. And... Tom really starting up his momentum here. That was bold. He just went into it with Super. And there's a desync. One thing I've seen him do is he has like a decent grumbo, grab combo where he carries you to the side of the stage and with the decent he just spikes you. Ooh, chase Nana, kills Nana. Popo can't recover there. Yeah, can't recover because he can't, um... Can't this is beautiful. Like... The way Logan's just figured out the matchup, he's just calling out all of Icy's for like all of their weaknesses. Interesting stall there with the cross slash. Still at a disadvantage, but not undoable for either of them at this point. I'm also liking the use of Blade Beam to keep Tom out. Really large projectile. Good shield call out from Tom there. Hey Lauren, who are you rooting for? I mean, I would say I would say Tom, but Lo Logan, I do like I do like that he's actually calling him out some at some points. So I think he kind of earned it. So what you're saying is you have no loyalty to Tom as a friend, and you're just gonna root for the underdog. Look, I may have loyalty to Tom as a friend, but he already kinda... has it good. <laughs> he doesn't need my support. <laughs> doesn't he though? <laughs> what are friends for if not for support, Lauren? Insulting each other, obviously. <laughs> well, clearly, but like, you know, Tom thinks he's overseated. We should be supporting him and constantly reminding him, no, he isn't. He is pretty good, but maybe Logan is underseated. Who knows? Maybe, maybe Tom is overseated and Logan is underseated. All right, hold on. I'm gonna place my bets as to how this this match will end. Tom's gonna kill, gonna kill with the soap on this stock. That's my bet. Did I not call go. it? Did I not call it? It would be hard not to call that. What do you mean? Like, Logan could very easily have gotten that kill there. And Banana Rama game five. Game five, Banana Rama. To Banana be fair, Rama. Tom, was on, Tom was on Sopo at the end. Like, that's unstoppable. I mean, yeah, but Logan was stopping it. <laughs> he was. Game until five. Until he wasn't. We've got Logan with the counter pick. Yeah. Small battlefield makes sense. Because that second game, he really, like... He just choked out Tom. Gave him no room to breathe. And anyone's game at this point. But interestingly, it seems that stage is actually, like, a big factor in this so far. But, like... I wouldn't really call either of them an underdog anymore because, as we've seen, both are clearly capable of completely curb stomping the other. Good patience from both players there. Logan holding his cross slash and Tom just holding his shield. But again, with those juggling up airs, and Logan's on 90% all of a sudden. I think what really could will decide this is probably can Tom get an early stock off of Logan? 
because that momentum will just carry him. The cloud survived that. Ooh, the oh. gimp! And there Let's you go. Save it. <laughs> and now the pressure's really gonna be on Logan because last game and he's just He's gotta be desperate to get that stock, but meanwhile Tom can just It's it's a lot of pressure just because Tom can get one hit and it'll lead to just 40%. Because he's just that clean with his character and his combos. Ooh, Nana separated. No, he got it back. Back here, gonna take Nana. It's not quite a super. Ooh, oh, he can't not gonna make it back. That. Nice job by Logan there. Definitely doable from here. Tom really couldn't capitalize off his early stock there. Ooh. Yeah, no, that's not gonna kill. But it's gonna give him a hefty percent lead. Up is looking really scary from Tom right now, but... Ooh, Nana actually runs in and gets caught by the cross slash too. Yeah, Logan knows what he's got to do. He's gotten better at reflecting the, the ice, ice blocks. Yeah. The thing I'm pointing out, though, is the fact that... Ooh. F-Smash. Just... Usual S smash gonna take it. But what Logan's doing well is that he's staying away and kind of zoning Tom out really well. Ooh! Hitting Nana there can actually gimp Popo. That's even for the last stock. Dude, I swear, most of Logan's kills have actually just been abusing Ice Climbers. It's such good matchup knowledge, or at least just like figuring it out. Or well, maybe it's luck, but. As a certain fictional character would say, luck's a part of skill. And I am not going to reveal what that reference is. If you get it, you get a cookie. Or a banana, actually. You get a banana. Seeing oh, as this hedgehog. is the banana-rama. I don't know, I feel like the personality of the character I'm thinking is similar to Sonic the Hedgehog, but no. Speaking of, have you seen the new Sonic movie? I have not, but I do really want to. Neither have I. I saw the first one on Netflix. Oh. <laughs> and that's going to be back at game to ban Ice Banana. Very, very close. <laughs> that's going to be it for the Banana Rama, folks. Great gimp there. Great gimp there. Incredible set. Just applause to both players. Like, I look forward to seeing Logan. Like, he almost took a game off. He almost took the entire set off Tom there. Well done. Banana Rama!